I'd like to ask you, Pernay Eric, what is the biggest risk? So for commercial real estate, it's always debt, right? I mean, if you think about it, that's your biggest obligation every month, right? Every month, it doesn't matter if you're, there's a fire, there's a tornado, you have to pay the lender, right? Otherwise, they take the property back. So you can get that risk to zero by paying all cash. And, and that's possible, but you're going to get a couple percent return. So you got to figure out where in the risk spectrum am I comfortable, you know? And we, our last deal was about 60%. So we put a down payment of about 40%, which, you know, you and I would put down about 20% for a house. So this is much higher. But what that does is it decreases your loan payments. So your obligation is a lot less, right? Um, you can get fixed debt or adjustable debt, you know, within adjustable debt, you can get you can buy a rate cap means you pay money up front, almost like points, so that the interest rate won't go above a certain amount. And you could do that for two years. You can do that three years. You could make that very tight. Uh, so, you know, say you have an interest rate of three and it can only go up to four, or you can get looser where you get, have, start off at three and it could go up to six. So there's a lot of ways to try to, um, to, one, get rid of it, pay, pay as much cash as you can. Two, um, uh, to mitigate it, right? Doing a fixed interest rate. So the, the, the rate, the risk of interest rates going up is on someone else. Um, or you can transfer it to someone else by buying a rate cap where uh, if it goes above a certain amount, someone else is going to pay that interest. Uh, so I think debt is super important. And in 2008, um, Multifamily commercial real estate actually did okay, but the people that did have problems were the ones that had bad debt uh, or they had debt that was coming due and they couldn't refinance or get out of it. I think we've learned a lot of lessons and I don't think that's going to happen again. The debt markets are a lot better. 2008 was just, we we didn't know what to expect, you know, and it was an issue with the debt because the debt was the biggest issue. No one else was giving out debt. Now we have supply chain war, all this other stuff, but it's not the debt markets that are having issues. So uh, if you're looking at your own properties, if you're looking for an investment, really dial in, focus on the debt and ask them about it. Like, what, what about this do you think is going to uh, minimize our risk of the bank taking the property back?